everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a bit of a fun Sims 2 open for business experiment. I recently saw a Tumblr post where someone was asking for advice, wondering if there were any mods that would let you run a diner or restaurant with the hostess stand on a residential home business lot. Now I coincidentally have recently been testing a lot I built that is a home business and does have a restaurant with the hostess stand, and I did it without mods in certain respects. I can't show you that lot I built because it's a secret surprise for the future. So instead I thought I would make a family and house in my test neighborhood and we can go through the process of making a home business diner together and you can see how I got it to work, how I fixed any little errors that might happen, or any extra mods you can download that might help the whole process run more smoothly. Now, if you don't already have a lot or family in mind that you want to live in your diner, this first section will be much less complicated, but just in case you have the perfect family and house already and want to know how you could turn their pre-existing situation into a diner, I will show you how to do that. The annoying thing is we're going to have to move the family out and back into the house because we're going to change the lot zoning to community for a few minutes so we can get some of the items that we need. And as far as I'm aware, you want to move any family out of a lot before you change the zoning just to mitigate any game iffiness. But what about the family's beautiful furniture and all of their items? Well, we can just place down the move out object stair, or it's also known as the stay shrub by Inga at SimLogical. And then we click the shrub and we make object stay at move out. And this way we will not return to a sad and empty house. So here is our lovely little family who lives in this house and is going to run this diner. They are the Brunchella family, Gregory, Betsy, and Felipe. These are their beautiful outfits that they randomized with. Um, and Gregory, you know, I was really feeling this was the look of a guy who's having kind of maybe a midlife crisis, you know, doesn't know what he's doing and decided to redo the entire... Whoa, that's too bright entire lower half of the lovely family home to be a diner and now he's saying that the family has to be kicked out so that they can come install the industrial kitchen equipment that's going to go in here that's why we need to change to a community lot he's already got it all set up seasonal they're going to have a big holiday grand opening and over here is you know a little toy drive for some kids in the neighborhood and all sorts of random things that I just made up so <laughs> this is their uh very sad upstairs apartment I tried to set up the lot in a way that hopefully will work well for um I don't know who any of these people are oh visitors no we're moving out but so we have the upstairs apartment and it's not actually connected to the restaurant inside um, there's just the backyard that's only accessible through the apartment upstairs. Hopefully they won't all try to go in this door, but you know, let's just see. Gotta move them out of here. So I already clicked the stay shrub and told the objects to stay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna ask everyone to leave and then we are gonna save and go to neighborhood mode. So I'm gonna move the family to the family bin. There they are. So now what we need to do is get the hostess stand and the special like restaurant stove that makes the chef NPC person um, on a community lot. Those are the two things that we're going to need. And unfortunately, we're going to have to reload this lot a couple times because right now it's still a residential lot. So we're going to open the cheat window, control, shift and C. Then we're going to type change lot zoning space community. Now we have to save and quit and go back to the neighborhood. Aye, aye, aye. So Gregory's Griddle, that's what I named their house. And now we know it worked. It says community lot, so we can go in here. So now we can buy those things that we need. And I mean, if there was anything else you wanted to place on the lot that's only accessible from community lot mode, because I know sometimes, like for instance, if you start a home business and then you go into like wholesale mode or something, I think I've seen people say that before. They're like, oh, go into wholesale mode. And then you can, from there, you can buy community lot specific only items. But from my experience, the hostess stand and the stove are not, you can't buy those in wholesale mode. So you have to actually change the lot zoning. Um, or you need to have a modded version of the object that makes it always accessible. But in this you know, tutorial because it's the way that I did it. I didn't use a modded one. I just used this normal Maxis Tempest cooktop from 
kuas. So this is the stove. It's the only thing that we need. You don't need a fridge or counters or any of that stuff. If anything, you like don't want them because other Sims will come in there and try to mess with them. We need the restaurant podium. I'm gonna use this one because I have a white recolor for it. Those are both there. And now we can go, we can do control shift C again, change lot zoning again, but this time we're gonna change it back to residential and then save and quit to the neighborhood. Okay, and so now that is for sale, normal residential lot now. Um, I'm gonna turn testing sheets on just to be safe and I'm gonna move them back in. And yeah, sometimes like if you're doing something that you think would could maybe be glitchy or like you're testing out a lot that you just downloaded. Um, it's good to put testing cheats on before you load it because then if you have some kind of object error, um, it will pop up here on the loading screen and you can delete it and then it will stop your game from crashing or not loading and stuff like that. <laughs> Beautiful. My computer's like, no, oh crap, okay, okay. It's gonna do it, okay. And that was, it hated that. Okay, awesome. So now these freaking weirdos, ooh, love her. Okay. Ugh. I'm sad I'm gonna get rid of her job because she's a crazy fun vibe. Ooh. Okay, so now these like weirdo just freaks live in your house, which is not great. You basically have two options about it. Like this is weird, you know, the, like these unreal kind of robot people and they'll just stay here all the time, they'll never leave. But for instance, if you wanted to do like a Eloise at the Plaza vibe thing, you could, you know, have this be a hotel and you live upstairs and they're always here. Wow, cause right now he's living the high life. Just ordering mac and cheese from this lady. And now business and I'm gonna start a home business. She's like, honey, what have you done? Who are these people? He wants to start a diner. He should probably like know how to cook, right? Or she should know how to cook. So skills, oh my Lord. Okay, so that's the Sim Blender. It's gonna be faster to use the Sim Manipulator. Skills, cooking, set level. You know, like good, but not crazy. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot he's freaking doing something important. Would you like to start a home business with Gregory as the owner? Yes. Congratulations. Okay, I'm gonna make him, we'll make them both level seven. It's nice that you can still use these, like you can be seated and you can eat in your own restaurant. Um, you know, if there's someone working the hostess stand and working the stove, obviously. But for instance, like if you put down the Bon Voyage food stands, once it's a home business, um, for me at least, when I clicked this, I couldn't eat from it. I don't want these weirdos here. I want to be the cook myself. I think, I'm trying to remember. All right, so first things first, let's just try getting rid of these people by like hiring some people in the neighborhood. Hire employees for this lot. Oh my God, okay, we could hire uh, Nolan's clone. Well, actually, I think we need three. Okay, we'll get. we'll hire three people and we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna call in employees. And something that's gonna be good to use, I know there's a version that like, you can get versions that change the model, I just don't have it because I don't care. Because I have barely ever done home businesses, but it's the business controller. And this is helpful for like toggling open and close and summoning employees into work and things like that without having to go to the business sign. And we're gonna see if once we reassign people to these three jobs, cook, server, and hostess, if we can um, get these NPCs to leave. All right, don't forget to assign me a job. I will. So I want to assign a hostess, bro. I, I wonder if I should just delete this lady. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't remember how I got rid of her last time I did this. I think I might have been so crazy and deleted them. All right, I'm scared, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna delete her. Oh! Oh my God, amazing. Okay, I'm gonna make Nolan the host. Okay, 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 okay. I love it, I love it. I'm gonna let this girl get the food. This is what I did, okay. <laughs> okay, we changed it to a community lot. No, we moved out the family. We changed it to a community lot. 
We purchased our stove. We changed it back to a residential lot. Moved in the family. These weirdos are here. We delete them. We put, turn on move objects on and we delete them and we get rid of them. And we delete this guy. And now that those guys are gone, whoop, we can be the chef or we can assign the chef. I'm gonna assign the chef, Sammy Storm. Sir. Go be the chef. Assign chef. Do it. Do it. You better not like think you're being the chef up here. Oh, you think you're gonna eat something. That's ridiculous. Okay. First of all, I don't want y'all going in here. So I'm locking the door household only and he's probably gonna be able to get in there because he already is trying to get something. Stop it. Okay. What if I run over here and be the chef? You can do it. What? Why? You can do it. Okay. Perfect. Amazing. Oh, no, stop it. Oh my God. <laughs> stop. <laughs> no. I'm doing a horrible job so far. Okay. You know why I wasn't locking anything? Mm, yeah, you can't. You cannot either. Forgot to lock the door to the house. That's important. Lock the door to the house. An important mod that is helping me with that is boiling oils shoppers respect privacy, which is going to prevent guests in your home business from being able to walk through locked doors. You know, sometimes it might maybe still happen because locked doors in The Sims 2, they're really a suggestion. <laughs> Assign chef, Sammy Storm. Go, 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 go. Oh, come on now. Yeah, no, you're so close. Be the chef. Be the chef, Sammy Storm. Is it because no one needs any food? La tay, la la tay la Oh my God, my test neighborhood is a nightmare. Get back to work as a chef. Okay, he was just being bad. He was just being a bad employee. Get back to work as a chef. He loved it. I mean, I guess this guy literally doesn't know how to cook at all. <laughs> Maybe that's like not, he can't cook any of the food people are ordering. Teleport, make selectable, Sammy Storm. And now we're gonna make this dude the best cook ever. He's so good at cooking. It would be good to give um, Cassie a freaking sales badge because she's the worst employee in the world. We see being a server is in her queue. I should look at Sammy and see what's in his queue. You know what? He's being the chef. All right, Sammy. I mean, oh my God, he's being the chef. As soon as we gave him the skill points. Okay, 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 okay. Amazing. You guys, I was like, who am I to freaking think that I can show people how to do anything? Because apparently I don't understand, but it's because <laughs> I hired a chef who had zero cooking points. So of course people are like, can I have pork chops or whatever? And he's like, no, I don't know how to cook. I've never cooked in my life, but now he looks beautiful. Okay. So now we have a business that has customers and it has people doing these jobs that are not the NPCs. So, you know, it's 5 PM. We'll stay open for a couple more hours just to like get more in the groove now that I stopped flopping so hard. Yay, we earned our first simoleon. Oh my God, it's freaking digit. Nolan too is doing an excellent job. Sammy Storm's doing great in there. And something that is kind of fun too is that, um, hey, okay, you can't come in here. Yeah, so the, here's the thing. I'm no business expert, you guys. So I'm not here to tell you how to have really happy employees that aren't hungry and aren't like trying to get into your house and stuff like that. Like, it, you know, but, it's beyond my ability. Oh, he wants the customer to gain a star. Gregory's aspiration is to have 20 simultaneous best friends. So maybe he decided, you know, the best way to people's heart is through their stomachs and that's how he's gonna make friends with everyone. And then something that's kind of fun is that you can ask to form a casual group just for fun. So we can ask our family members and I have a mod that makes it so the group auto forms. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have to actually ask her about it. So now they are in a casual group and that means that we can sit with our family. Should turn the tree on. Seat me. I know this works because I've done it in my secret home restaurant lot. Hello. Okay. All right. Now we can sit. Maybe this table might be messed up and that's why they're not. S oh no, because Felipe sat there. 
So if we form a casual group with our family, yep, here they come. We can all eat together in the diner down here as long as we have people working those jobs. So that's also kind of a fun thing where you can eat with them at home or like if they invite friends over, you can form a casual group with them in your house and come down here and be seated together, which is cool. Where are you, mom? Betsy, Betsy Brunchella. Oh my God, these lights are so crazy. Oh my God, but now it's so dark. I tried, I tried to use lights that weren't custom content and I couldn't do it anymore. It's hurting me. Yay, okay, fun. Chef's choice. I wonder if, um, let's try throwing a party and seeing how the restaurant works on a home business slot. Lady. So it is really annoying that they can like see all my stinky food in my house and she wants to take a shower and she's so stinky and everything. Like I don't really, you know, love that. I wonder if it's related to the guests being so entitled on home business lots and walking through locked doors and everything, you know, and that's like why the boiling oil mod exists. But I wonder if they still kind of have that coding where they can sort of see everything on the lot and like want to interact with it. But just God, this woman, just get out of here. But things are going good. We'll accept that that guy hates our restaurant. Let's pay our freaking bill to ourselves. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know about that. Cause like, I'm more kind of about the pantomime, I suppose, of it than like the very macroeconomic. Ah, yeah. Cash flow today, negative two thousand dollars. Whatever. And my casual group. Thanks, guys. She can serve that, and then I'm going to send my employees home for the day and close my business. No, you needed to go. Oh no, ma'am. Okay, business is closed. So the one thing is that this stove is always going to be on. It will always look like your house is about to burn down at any moment. It's not going to. It won't cause a fire. Like, I don't think this stove can cause a fire. Um, if you get close, it's like kind of nice, cozy ambiance. But just know ahead of time if that's going to bug you. If you want this stove and to have like a restaurant on a home business lot, that's just, it is how it is. It's going to do that. Now we're back in our disgusting home, just cleaning up. She love. oh, she got a skill point. No, she's still being a server. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you don't have to do that at all. Oh, wait, no, wait, no, don't turn it on. I was like, we don't need that actually could catch on fire in the night, which we really don't need. Stop being a server, you're fine. Let's see if she'll stop being a server on her own because I told her to stop or if she like, okay, she stopped. I was like, are we gonna have to reset her? So now run here, get in bed. What's he doing? Cleaning up? Oh no, he can't clean up. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna help him out. I'm gonna put that here. <laughs> also, I'm gonna freaking put a gate here because we're also figuring out like what the best method for building a house like this would be. And we're definitely learning we don't want accessible stairs for them. No, not allowed. Oh shit, I spent all my money. Oh my God, this fence is so expensive. All right, their fence is stupid right now. Um, but yeah, and that's gonna mess up my money. Oh God, okay, now our cash flow is really bad. I'm going to lock this for household only. And now at least they're not gonna get all the way upstairs before they realize the door's locked and like get stuck on our landing. I wanna try throwing a party. Cause he, oh, oh my God, he wants to throw a party, perfect. Maybe that's what originally gave me the idea. <laughs> I'm just curious, like, you know, they should have a grand opening of their diner so all their friends can come over and be like, oh my God, honey, what did he do to your house? And like, I'm curious if we can successfully have people like eating in our diner or are they all just gonna like stand here and wanna get in the gate and hang in in our house? So we're gonna see how well it works out. So right now we have negative 2,621 simoleons. I'm gonna write that down and be really organized, but I'm not gonna be too organized. I'm gonna write it like really tiny on the corner of this piece of paper and I'm probably gonna misplace it. Oh my God, what? It smells so horrible. Just that plate that's there that like they can't clean up for some reason. So we should plan our menu because we can just be serving everything in the world. We're going to have pancakes and flapjacks on the menu. Root beer, but we're gonna call it sarsaparilla. 
we'll have Santa cookies because it's seasonal. And set the menu prices, they're average. I mean, that seems fine. I digit. She can greet her? Why was that never an option when I wanted to adopt her? Oh, because she's a customer. Would you like to be seated? Oh my god, wait, actually? The neighborhood dogs get to have a real Lady in the Tramp situation over here. Everyone watching me like, your cash flow. This is just a nice thing to do for the neighborhood so that everyone can. <laughs> Where's that little freaking thing? There it is. Aw, fill it up. You know, you never know who you might meet. Okay, now we set our menu. Did, well. <laughs> I love what you've done with the place. Digit has a lot to say. No! What? Stop it! Wow. Digit's about to get a picture of her on the wall, like banned permanently from this establishment. So I'm just teleporting some people over because he doesn't know anyone in the neighborhood and we need some people to invite to our big party they're gonna have. I can just use the sim blender and set their relationships. Oops. And now I'm just going to clear off all non-residents and now... He should change into his everyday clothes. Let's go down here and call in our employees and open up the business. Turn on the Christmas tree lights. Turn on this for any, uh, any dogs. <laughs> this is one of those like ancient stews. It's like a family heirloom recipe and this like stock has been boiling for 700 years in this very house. So I'm just going to let our employees get here. Oh, you know what? This family doesn't have a phone. They don't have a dang phone. Let's see if Sammy Storm understands to be the chef. That would be great. Will she clean up this plate that's been haunting us? If I, maybe if I put it back here. Oh, maybe she can't get it because of the giraffe there. Wait, she's got a plate stuck in her hand. Or is she serving food that she made all the way down here? No, you're gonna take all the tables away. <laughs> She's gonna take all the tables away. Stop. Oh god. Go here and throw a house party. All of my friends, they better freaking all show up. I knew it. Color me shocked. Oh my god, I have no money. My wife keeps feeding them for free. We're learning here. I need to get that mod. I don't have it, but that mod that's like variable meal counter and set her meal to three. So she only ever goes bink bonk bonk. Cause this walking downstairs, serving the food, it's ruining our diner. It's not even allowing it to succeed even a little bit. Um, I'm selling this plant so that we can get a little stereo. So people can dance. Where's our guests? Hey, we had a party. Can you clean it up? Okay, here's party starting now. Maybe none of my guests want to come. This plate is so evil that guess what I'm going to do. This calls for the stuck object remover. This isn't stuck and invisible, but I just want to... Good. I destroyed the blackened catfish and the plate. And now maybe people won't hate my restaurant so much. None of our party guests are here. They're having a little party of their very own up there, but I don't need that. Sending everyone home and closing up for the night because today was a nightmare because my wife sabotaged our business because she's angry at him. Like, wow, I can't believe that you, what, what? Whoa. Uh, what's wrong? You want this? Hmm. Is it bothering you? <laughs> okay. All right, closing up. Nick's everything to do with today. Everyone go home. No, don't seat this man. What are you doing? You're done, go home. They love to seat them and then leave. Whoa, where is everybody? All right, so I installed the variable meal controller mod and I'm just reloading their house. Wait, my, oh God, my party was still happening. None of my guests even showed up. Okay, sadly, we threw a terrible party and he's really upset about that. Oh, 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 oh my God, caught in the act. 
It said it was in appliances, I think. Aha, this little vase. Set number of servings, three. One, two. Ba 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 ba. Bink. I'm like, can you even eat there? Oh, dang it, he served it there. He did the thing. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I should quit and get that counter controller mod I was looking at recently that I haven't tried. But we could set it so that you can't serve a meal on this counter because they're gonna keep messing it up. I'm just gonna put another counter here. So hopefully this kitchen set up right now will work okay for us and they won't serve free upstairs food in the downstairs diner section. So I'm just going to go to the next day. And I think today, um, because we're doing so bad on money, yeah, not good. Ooh, the Christmas tree! The Christmas tree. And I don't have a hurry up. Oh my God, oh my God. Call the fire station. <laughs> oh no, my Christmas diner. Oh my God. Oh my God. No, no, no. No, not this. We actually really need this. <laughs> oh. Aww. Yeah. Make the best of a bad situation. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna quit and reload. I'm gonna quit and reload the lot. Because that is unnecessary. <laughs> We're back. I put a smoke alarm here. Um, I'm gonna turn this off. <laughs> Oh man, my party's still going on, it's a disaster. Okay, so we lost so much money from the sabotage of serving meals downstairs. Today, I think we'll only call one employee into work, which we can do with the business controller. We can just summon an individual employee. And while Felipe is at school, we'll have mom and dad do the cooking and either serving or hostessing or whatever, and we'll have one paid employee. Then when he comes back from school, we'll give him one of the jobs and then we'll have Gregory throw the party and we'll see if we can successfully have guests arrive to our party and we won't spend quite so much money. <laughs> oh my gosh. But also I'm just gonna make everyone that I want to come to the party friends. Like, cause maybe just coincidentally none of them wanted to come to the party or let's see if it's actually something kind of that's getting messed up. Um, I'm gonna set the friend flag, which like it's not gonna fulfill the want because he's not interacting with them, I don't think. And now he's friends with those four and I'm gonna reroll his wants just to get rid of the wants to be friends with all of them. And now I'm gonna clear off all non-residents Okay, he really wants to have a great party. I feel so sad for this man who's having the roughest time on earth, starting a midlife crisis home diner, and no one will even come to his party or anything. Now let's see how you serve him and you don't want to go downstairs or anything like that. That would be really silly. Okay, Gregory loves music and dance. That's great. Perfect, so then she puts it there. I mean, it's not perfect, but for now. So for now, I'm gonna still have Sammy Storm be the cook. He can be the host and she can be the server. Oh, it's freaking not closed. Oh my God, okay. Well, in this case, because he's already at the hostess stand, I'm just going to toggle open close by clicking this and you can see the sign just changed to green. So it's now open and that makes sense. Now she's like, oh, okay, I'm server get back to work as a chef. So I'm gonna have her say that to him. Oh wait, uh-oh. Well, hopefully she'll serve this first because I told her to stop being the server. Okay, there he goes. So she actually doesn't have to. You know, the chef looks very laggy and or very like just weird all the time because all he does is stand there unless there's someone waiting to, you know, eat something. And then really he's just animated cooking for like 10 seconds, like Ch -ch -ch -ch. So did you eat your food? What did you order, one banana? And it's kind of fun, like, with them being the employees and really controlling them rather than, you know, having the employees. Because I'm like, okay, I'm going to have her hand that food off, but then she really needs to use the bathroom really quick. And then after she uses the bathroom, I'm going to have her be... Oh, crap. Okay, so you can't stack... Looks like you can't really stack be the server and like going to the bathroom or something. But what's funny is now that she's using the bathroom, I can only assign the server. Like, she's not eligible to be the server because she's in the bathroom. 
Now she can be the server. So if you're peeing, you cannot be a server. If we know that you have ever peed in your life, you have are fired. That is disgusting. Servers should never ever pee. And I oh, it's perfect that it's snowing. That's fun. So let's really hope our friends show up to our party. We're not even gaining money. Like we truly need to have zero, zero employees if we want to make any money. He's going home. Now she's going to be the chef. And no, she's kicking stuff. She doesn't need to do that. That's part of being the chef. It's like be chef and kick stuff. Don't kick stuff. Send employees home, sir. Thank you. All right. And she is the chef, but she just is kicking stuff obsessively, which she doesn't need to do. <laughs> what? Oh, was that what Nolan was trying to do when he was trying to kick the bear? Okay, I'm deleting the gnome because she won't stop wanting to kick it. Now we are finally running a business that isn't just constantly losing money. Okay, Felipe's doing a great job. Taking this guy's order. Oh. <laughs> okay. Changed into his PJs to go to the bathroom, which is understandable. You gotta be comfy. But I'm gonna try to turn this off and lure her into eating food so we can maybe for the first time ever have three guests at once. Three guests at once. Are you paying? You know what I wonder? Oh look, we're making money. Okay, 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 okay. We're making money, babe. My diner was an incredible idea. Just don't look at the cash flow. Okay, seat in her and now throw a house party. So yeah, it takes him a second to kind of unstick from being the host. There he goes. Missing some of your party guests? I am. I'm missing all of my party guests and I'm so stinky. I wonder, I'm about to Google like, can you even have a party on a home business lot? Will they come? Oh, oh! Wah! who the, what? <laughs> Why is he, okay, yay, party. Now let's see. <laughs> and let's see, it looks like they will just like, you know, sit and want to eat at our party and stuff. Oh my god, he's so stinky. Okay, in the interest of this experiment, I'm gonna max the family's motives because they're working so hard, they're doing so good. And now that we have a couple people who look like they might be ready to order soon, I, oops, I will be the host, not be seated. Hey, look, we got to rank one. That's so fun. Yay. <laughs> Thank God you don't have to have a positive cash flow. Don't be seated. Oh my God. No, don't leave, Hello Kitty. Yeah, don't worry about it. You can't go in my house. So enjoy my party and eat in the restaurant. Oh, she's a kid. She can't. She has to be in a casual group with someone. That's why. So maybe let's get a friend over here to, because we don't have an extra person, unfortunately. Nolan is already our employee normally. I wonder if like there's a mod or something so kids can <laughs> eat at the hostess stand, like let a child eat. What is the big deal? Literally like, okay, something, is this guy in the way? Let's see, for some reason they really don't think that this table works and I wonder if I like, yes, it looks so much better in the window how I had it, but let's see, maybe I just like placed them weird, but for some reason they only think there's one table available in this restaurant. Just for fun. Now Nolan, no, you be the host. Oh my god. Assign host. Nolan. Him and Hello Kitty can at least eat together. We're not rude. We didn't invite her to a party and not let her eat. No! No! Kitty, don't go! Wait, you were sp what? 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 You're just arguing with this woman, Nolan, for no reason. Here's what I'm gonna do. Be the host. Be greeted. Now they can be seated. No! We went back to rank zero. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking die. Because Nolan came out and screamed at someone. Now... Be the server. Don't be the host anymore. And now assign Nolan to be the host. Well, you know, you can have a home business restaurant. And as you can clearly see, it is a fabulous success. <laughs> you can achieve rank one and then uh, lose it and go back down to zero. Oh my God, look, our current cash flow is green because we are not paying any of our employees. And that's the beauty of family and the reason to have children. Oh good, we got to rank one again. That makes me so glad. What a great place to wrap up. I don't need to 
<laughs> I don't need to do it any longer and let this monstrous man. Oh my god. We went back. I literally. <sighs> Teleport. Clear off. Nolan. He has to get out of here. Our party's not bad. Well, we're back down to rank zero, but I just want to believe that that is not my fault. Okay, good. Oh, thank you, game. You're so sweet. Our cash flow today is still looking pretty terrible, but I'm loving the color of the current session. And we had a terrific party as well. We also got our rank one business and, um, I mean, we really need the money, but he does, his dream is to have 20 best friends. So I think he would like the boost to his reputation. They're so cute that they sit on the same side of the table. Nerds. Okay, now order for Kitty. She wants a chicken pot pie. I believe that's what that is. I wouldn't mind one myself. And this man thinks he's gonna eat here. He's actually not. I am going to toggle open clothes so that he will hopefully leave. You know, I had a great party at my home business diner. Yeah, you did, sir. You really did. Can turn this tree off. Let's clean these both and refill them for the dogs. And now that him and Hello Kitty aren't even getting along, pay the bill. And just out of curiosity, when we eat, let's see, does this money go up or down? Okay, so that makes sense. The money, like, I mean, I don't know if it really makes that much sense, but it didn't go up or down when we paid to eat at our own restaurant. So, I mean, I guess in some ways, probably you should be like, well, shouldn't you lose the money because you're eating your own food? But I guess it's better than you gaining the money from buying food from your own restaurant. So, you know, and he thinks he needs to take this plate all the way upstairs. Hopefully that at least <laughs> showed you how you can finagle a home business diner. Not all of it will be perfect, such as the world of Sims 2, but we got to rank one. We're only negative $2,700. So I would say it was a massive success. Aw, and maybe one day Taffy will have a special dog to eat alongside her. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me experimenting around and trying to figure out if I could make the home business diner work well. Please leave a like or comment if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.